Our first design has a two-wheel drive with four Omni wheels on the front for better turning, two prongs on the side to push levers and release climbers on the mountain, and a foam scoop for pushing debris. While our first robot was easy to control with a little bit of practice, we liked a way to pull ourselves up the pull-up bar. While we could score points, our drive system couldn't even get us halfway up the mountain, so our design needed some improvement. In our second design, we attached a motor to a large gear, which then spun two smaller gears. One of the smaller gears spun the wheel to drive, while the other one spun a white modified Omni wheel. The modified Omni wheel is to help our robot get over the churros on the mountain, but our drive wheels didn't even have enough traction to make it to the churros on the mountain. Also, the large gear ratio made our robot really jerky and hard to control, and the output of the gears was a bit too much for our robot to handle. Here we tried wrapping the front wheels and Lego treads to add traction, but it still wasn't enough. We made an elevated tread system to overcome the churro bars, but unfortunately the tread kept slipping, and this we learned is why physics stresses alignment. We used silicon tape to add traction, but our bot was too top heavy. We designed a three belt tread and pulley system powered by one motor. The increased surface area will provide enough traction to get us up the mountain. When one motor is powered, all three belts successfully move in parallel, which is cool. Our secret weapon, the telescoping arm. It will extend outward and latch onto the pull-up bar and hoist us to victory. As the pink string is rolled in by the spool, it creates tension which causes the PVC to extend and retract. While a claw has not yet been attached to the arm, the arm is strong and capable of reliable movement. PVC parts and our fabulous pink string were funded by our community donors. Special thanks to University of Florida Computer Science students Beatrice Villanueva and Wee Sam Ferris for their software and coding mentoring, and to Mr. Novelli, Mr. Gwines, and Mr. Walter for their design assistance. The Tetrix kit and 3D printer were provided by the School Board of Clay County. Funding for other pieces, such as our PVC and silicon tape, were provided by community donors who prefer to remain unnamed.